Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Nolan coming to you from sunny Miami, Florida for Metro Connect USA 2022. Joining me today is Patrick Jean Grosso, the Vice President at Mission Critical Facilities International or MCFI. Welcome back to JSA TV. Thank you very much, Laura. Nobody told me it was going to be this cold in Miami. I know. It's warming up, though. Feeling good. (laughs) By the time we leave, it'll be nice and warm. Exactly. Exactly. Well, could you tell our viewers about MCFI for those who may not know much about you? Yeah, so thank you. MCFI is a design-build data center solution set. Uh, We also offer microgrid solutions with green technologies, uh, helping clients meet their uh, sustainability needs, but primarily doing data center uh, refurbs as well as design-build showing lower costs and quicker times to market. Wonderful, wonderful. And just hot off the presses, recent headlines, MCFI announced the deployment of its Genius Modular Data Center, the first data center co-location facility in the Permian Basin, which is huge news. So can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so we did a uh, one megawatt solution for BBT, uh, Big Ben Telecom, uh, and they needed a solution right at the edge in the Permian Basin to uh, help their clients who are the oil and gas industry where they're doing a lot of data collection and a lot of uh, monitoring of the wellheads within the Permian Basin. So they needed a solution up and quick and we helped deliver that solution with our genius uh, data center design. So not only to improve safety um, at the oil fields but also in the underserved communities, improving communication there, so twofold. Yeah, and so it really also, like you said, addresses the underserved area where they really don't have a lot of the, uh, the latency, the low latency, and you got to go all the way to, to Dallas or to Houston for uh, your data. So this gives that uh, better serving in the community as well where they didn't have much broadband to begin with. So a big boost for West Texas and the oil and gas industry. Wonderful. So here at Metro Connect, when you're talking to folks, uh, the audience here, how are you communicating Um, how MCFI can help the sustainable microgrid solutions or edge data center strategy that they're looking for. How can MCFI be a part of that? Yeah, so it's twofold. Um, One is uh, helping clients that are rolling out fiber solutions and they need a a green solution. And so what we offer is our microgrid solution, which is primarily solar based uh, for primary energy and then uses uh, lithium ion energy storage and fuel cells. And the real key there is the fuel cell gets uh, alleviates the need to have diesel gen sets. Diesel gen sets are environmentally uh, tough to, to manage. You've got the diesel fuel you gotta worry about and you've got maintenance on a monthly basis you have to deal with. So you kind of get rid of all that with the, our, our solution that has no moving parts and so maintenance goes down to nothing. Can help with cost of electricity, can help on a number of different uh, levels especially on permitting. It can help you with permitting in locations where it's hard to permit a diesel generator. You can now permit this a lot easier because everybody will kiss you because it's a fuel cell. <laughs> That's great news. That's great news, Patrick. So what are some of the other technologies that MCFI is looking at for future projects? So one of the things that the, the, the Genius Data Center, not necessarily a technology, but a different application of the solution, and really talking to a lot of the guys in this uh, at this conference are people who are building uh, uh, cable landing stations, CLSs, right? And typically they just build a cable cable landing station and then everybody else connects to it and and the data goes off. Well, there's really a good opportunity to build a co-location facility as part of that, right? It doesn't have to be big, 50 racks, 100 racks, gives you an opportunity for additional revenue, but it gives it to you at the edge, right at where the data is coming in from, whether it's coming in from Latin America, whether it's coming in from Europe, or it's just jumping around from region to region, right? So, but it gives you that ability to additional revenue and sell space, sell uh, IT cabinets at the right at your right at the cable landing station, and fast speed to market too. Extreme, yeah, fast speed to market, so we can be up and running with that solution. Normally, we say about eight months. Right now, eight to twelve, depending on lead times. But because of the way we've designed it, we're minimizing the lead times by being able to order stuff right away versus because the design's already done. Excellent. Well, speaking of time, I hear a lot of chatter downstairs, so I don't want to keep you too long so you can go back to networking. But before you go, tell our viewers where they can learn more about MCFI. So you can go to mcfigroup.com for 
our, our main website, and you can go to GeniusDataCenters.com to see more about our Genius Data Center solution. And then for our microgrid solution, you can go to MicroGenius.com. Excellent. Lots of ways to find MCFI and even connect with Patrick on LinkedIn if, if, if you're on LinkedIn. So choose. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us again, Patrick. Always a pleasure having you. Right, thank you so much for having me. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking. Mm -hmm.